Hi there, Strolls here. Thank you for stopping by on my channel. I'm so thankful to Rachel for giving me the opportunity to join her Be Summer inspired collaboration. If you follow along with this collab, congratulations, you almost made it to the end. If this is your first time hearing it, welcome. There are a lot of amazing crafters sharing their inspiration in this collab. Each of us was given a letter and a prom guide. She also generously gave us three of her gorgeous kits, Sons of Summer, Truly Blue, and Nana's Roses. You can find this schedule and prom in Rachel's Coffee. I will put the link to her coffee shop, the digitals, and the playlist of this collab in the description. In the playlist, you will also see the launch video where Rachel described this collab and telling you how to win the giveaways. I provided one digital kit as well as a prize. So, for this collab, I was assigned letter fee. At first, I was nervous and clueless, but after that, I realized that this letter suits me. I like anything that has multi functions and adaptable to how I want to use it. So, that's what I'm going for. Versatile. A versatile tri or portfolio. These are the trifold I made for this project. It's very simple. Just open up like so. It's simple and easy to put together, but it can be used in varieties of ways. Size and style. Vintage, vibrant, any style and theme you like. Originally, I made this as a trifold, but when I was playing with it, I realized I could have also made it into a quadfold. And hence, this video is called Versatile Tri or Quadfold. And there is five fees already for your inspirations. Video, Versatile, Verities, Vintage, and Vibrant. I will show you the basic how to make this tri or quadfold. Then I will show you the variances and varieties of ways you can use it. You need paper, of course, any type of paper. Think junk ads or magazine cover, hanging file folder or file folder with top, middle or bottom tab, scrapbook paper, or pretty digitals. I use all three digitals Rachel provided us. You will also need the basic crafting tools, scissors, glue, and maybe a pencil. Optionally, you can also use a bone folder and a scoreboard. The paper I use might be different in size to yours, so I'm not going to give you measurements. It's very simple and easy. With just the concept I'm going to show, I believe you can make a lot of varieties. Pick the paper of your choice. File folder with a type is a tiny bit trickier to make. You need to be conscious of the type. I also have a tip to cut your pretty paper to the shape of the file folder. So I'm going to use this file folder. And now for my first tip, did you notice this? This file folder is not perfectly aligned. There is a slight gap between the front and the back. So if you don't care or don't mind about this, that's fine. But I personally would like it to have a really perfect straight edge. So I'm going to trim this off. So I will have a perfectly 90 degree angle of paper edge. I already trimmed my file folder so now the edges are even and it is perfectly 90 degree. Next, what we want to do is to fold on the shorter edge up to make our pocket or tuck spot so we want to make this fold here and if your paper is not square fold it on the shorter edge so like for my file folder my shorter edge is this way so i'm going to do it like this and because we are going to fold this up to make a pocket or tuck spot we want it to have a pretty good depth and my suggestion is around a third of your paper height. So for my file folder here, a good 
stuck pocket that will be around 7 to 8 and if I score it on the 8 mark here, 8 inches mark I will score into the tab and I don't want that I want to keep the tab shape like so so I think I'm going to score in a 7 and a half because this file folder is pretty thick I'm going to run my phone folder along the score mark here like on couple pass so I have a really good impression I don't want to do it like in one pass with a lot of strength because I might tear the paper so I would rather use a gentle force and just run it a couple times and here if you notice I score into this tab and that's totally fine I'm going to cut this off later and next we are going so we score it like this we are going to turn our paper 90 degree and we want to make three score marks these score marks will fold our paper into four section this first section the second one third and fourth so we will have we need one, two, and three score marks. And because I'm using file folder, I already have my center fold. It's not perfectly fold the file folder into half and that's totally fine. You can also fold your paper like this. So the first half and the second half have slightly gap. That's okay. The idea of this is you need you can just score you can divide your paper into four section any wide and or any narrow as you want and just be mindful that if you want to fold your paper into a tripod like i did here with a tuck spot and a third section and a fourth section you want to make sure that this width of this first and second section when folded is at least as wide of the third section here or narrower if your like this section here is wider then you cannot fold this like this you will have to fold it like different way so anyways i hope that's clear enough and my file folder like i said i already have this center fold which is around eight and three quarter so i'm just going to crease it on the eight and three quarter here just to make the score mark more clear and then i want to make it like my valve my tripod here to so make a big tuck spot <coughs> excuse me and i don't want the first section the edge of this paper to touch this line I don't want it I want it a little bit gap so I have some allowance to put my paper or my tag inside here just like this one here I have a gap between this and this let's see I want it like a quarter inch gap is pretty good enough let's do it let's do half inches gap so it's like eight and quarter so it means that i need to score this in divided this into half so it's like four and an eight so i think this will be nice so put like so yeah this is really good and let's see so this section here now is around four and five eight that means my third section should be four or five eight or wider so just put this like this and like so um let's see four and five eight no i think i will want to make it like safe let's do five inches will it be too wide no, I don't know. I will, we will see. This part like this. 
and two spots like this and when I put it has slightly a different width and that's okay that's what I'm going when I put like this I can put it into a tripod like this and if I want and I of course because this section is narrower than the second section is narrower than the third one I cannot fold it like Oh, you can also do like this. So anyways, like this is very versatile. You can just fold it any way you want. And the basic one, you just need three folds. One horizontal one, where you are going to flip up to make your pocket or tuck spot or whatever you want. And then you need three vertical score marks where you are going to then make this into a quad fold or a tri-fold in a accordion style or a booklet style. And for my file folder here, I want to make it into a simple style that I have shown you, here. I have in the example here. I want to make it into a tuck spot here and a pocket. And for this example, I made it into a hidden journaling spot but for the one that I'm going to work on I'm going to make it into a tuck spot so I'm going to glue on the bottom on this side so I will have one tuck spot two tuck spot one pocket and three big tuck spot and on this example I made this flap into a pocket but for this project, I'm just going to make it very simple. Like, I'm just going to make it in the tuck spot. So, I need to cut this fold mark and then here and here. I have cut my flap and I leave a small gap in between flap because there's a purpose for that because I want to make sure that it lays flat. So, for this side I'm going to fold it up and later I'm going to glue on this side and this one I'm going to do up and then like so and this one it will be my big trifold let's see and I can fold this up and glue on this side to make another tuck spot or I can also fold it the other way and make a tuck spot here so I will have a tuck spot here another tuck spot here tuck spot pocket and tuck spot let's see yeah I think I want to make a tuck spot this way and before I go to the next step I want to make sure first that uh, my piece here will lay flat and so it's pretty nice and this one, oh yeah, I did a pretty good job here. Yay! So if you don't cut, you don't make a gap in between this pocket flap, you will have like a bulk, it won't lay flat. That's why we want to cut this gap off. And like earlier I said, I do not want this shape here. I'm going to trim that off as well now. My last tip working with file folder. If you want to map your file folder when following the shape of the tab, what you need to do is line your paper on the corner where the tab is, the top and the side, and then turn it over and trace the shape. I like to map my file folder with a gap around it. So this, this paper is not all the way until the edge of the paper but I have a border around it and that's what and if you are working with the paper that the same size as your flap or file folder then you are it's easy you just put your paper trace one side and trace the other side but because my paper has a border around it after I trace this side I am going to move this paper like so to the other corner because the idea is to move my paper 
around twice of the border cap so my border I measure it around an eighth so I will move my paper from this corner I move it an twice of an eighth is a quarter down and then I align on the side flip it over again and trace it and when I cut this shape I will have a perfectly cute like shape that will nestle in this tab here I already cut my paper and glued it on my file folder and you can see that it snuck very nicely on this file the tab and I already also glued the flap so it has a big dark spot here and on this side I'm going to fold this over to make a trifold and then fold this flap hugging the second the bottom of the second section like so so I don't have to glue anything here and it's already making a nice big tuck spot and on the other side all I need to do is glue on this edge and it will I will have another tuck spot and for this trifold I didn't put any ribbon or any closure so if I want to I can fold it like so like a like an accordion or fold it like so so yeah it's just like a lot of variety even like with this type of like the cutting that I did here you can also fold it up and my tag spot here like I already told you just or and I can also leave this open to make a jour hidden journaling spot or glue this side so I will have another pocket here so there's a lot of variety you can make with just four score marks one horizontal and three vertical and then the next thing you need to do is thinking how do you want the layout to be and I'm going to show you one more time how to make this with the copy paper and I'm just going to plate it in the play uh, faster speed without any voiceover. Here I finish it. It is a quad fold in accordion style and for this one I fold this flap on the other side and make it into a pocket. This one and on the middle I have two small nice pockets and the other side I cut the flap off and I rotate it and then I make an, it into a box spot here and this fold each section are the same white and for this is the other one that I make in this video as well I made it in like different section has different width so you can already see the differences in these two and this is the one that I showed you it's very simple and I make this again into a journaling spot and for this one I make it into a tuck spot and for this one I also cut the flap and I made it into a pocket so it's originally like some looking something like this it's originally like here and I cut it and then I make a score mark 
and then I then I can use this pop hat in to, to make a pocket like this like like facing like the open top opening or put it here here anywhere I fancy and then you can also like fold it the other way like like so I will make different looking of triple or quadruple so it's very very simple and easy if you want to you can also like after you make all the score marks you fold it up and glue it and you have one two three four pockets and that's simple and this is already like another variation so it's there are so many variations that you can make with just these four score marks and scissors and glue and just let your creativity let you and make your own version and now what can we use this trifold for one as a journal page put this trifold with your other journal pages and you can then sew it in as your signature and for this quad fold i use two sheets of digital that i printed on both sides and i glued it on the other side on this side so it will make a big piece and i just did the steps that I already showed you second you can use this as a tuck spot so i glued the quad fold on these edges and edges on my paper and it will make a big nice tuck spot and also make this into a tuck spot as well and then i flip the remaining into the other side to make this trifold flap and it will also it also has a like a journaling spot here a pocket on the top and another tuck spot here third you can make it into your journal page spread glue the trifold on a page and call it done in this page i glued it on three sides to make this big pocket and this trifold is like another variation as well it's like big big like tuck spot here and i cut off the flap here and glue the eye and this is another tuck spot and this one a pocket so i leave this blank so you can, it can be used as a journal spot four you can use it as a belly pen glue the trifold or quad fold on both edges on your journal page and you can have this nice belly pen and for this quad fold i made it such that you have a hidden pocket and a journaling spot i use a velcro as the closure for this quad fold and here you open down and this will this is a nice journaling spot and open up and this is uh, makes a nice journaling spot as well and this one the way that i did it i used this junk like booklet that i have so i see, same i have three score marks and the fourth one the other way and i cut this score mark and then Fold it like this. I glue on these both edges, and it will it makes my hidden pocket. And then on the other side, I fold this flap up, and here like this. So this two becomes my hidden journaling spot, and this become my pocket. And then I leave this blank as my hidden journaling spot, and fold it like so, and so like a tie fold and the, this two flap on the other side works as my pocket or a tuck spot five you can use this as a pocket insert here i made the quad fold that we made in this tutorial and put it inside this value pocket it's that simple and for this fir first five usages journal page tuck spot and trifold flap on the other side journal page spread belly band pocket insert i suggest you to use thin paper because if you use thick paper it will make your project become very bulky of course if you don't mind it that's totally fine it's your option and for the next five usage that i think of 
I suggest to use thicker paper like a cardstock or thick chunk ads because it will give you more sturdiness. Six, as a pocket pack, and make this into a pack with a lot of pockets. Seven, as an ephemera holder, it will make a really nice happy meal as well. And for the ephemera holder, I recommend adding a gusset in between the folds here. So if you put your ephemera or something like this, it won't be just bulky and curving on the middle. It will lay more flat and nicely. Like, so like the one I have here, this one I have made the gusset. So you can see, it's my gusset here and the other side. So if I put a lot of ephemera here, it can still like close really flat and nicely. But again, this is your options. You can do whatever you like. Eight. As a journal cover, I use a file folder to make this cover so it is pretty sturdy. It makes a really nice size journal. I can just put this in my purse to journal during a short vacation. I suggest adding gusset in between the folds and enforce the spine with this fabric or Tyfek so it won't tear after wear and tear. I use Truly Blue Kit to make this journal. I haven't sewn the signature yet. I'm still debating if I want to add more blue dyed paper or not. Right now I have seven sheets of paper in this mini journal, including this quad fold paper journal page. And it's not booking yet, but after I finish my project and use the scrap to make packs or journal card, I'm not sure if this going to be very bulky or not so yeah I still need to think about this and then after that I'm going to put lace on this because I'm going to sew my signature here and then I'm going to cover it with lace to enforce this fold here nine journal topper I have here my outer file folder that I'm going to make it into my journal cover I can just slightly take over this page here and then glue this trifold on the top and it will make a really cute journal cover. 10. As altar paper clip, I use junk paper for this. I painted the edges with my sharpie so it doesn't show the junk prints around the edges and the fold. I also use my twine as the closure. I put ribbon through the paper clip and then I poke a hole in the middle of this center fold quad fold and I pull the thread through it and on the flap I make punch a hole and tie another twine so now it can be closed and open individually and for this one I have a tuck spot here, a nice journaling spot, and on the other side, I have a pocket and a journaling spot. You can use other closure for this. You can just skip this middle thread here, or, spot, or twine, and then just tie ribbon on both edges, and like this. You can also use magnet, you can also use velcro and other innovative closure. That's all the usages I can think of. I believe you have a lot more ideas how to use this tri or quad fold. Now, to make this collaboration more fun, can you guess how many non-repetitive words started with V that I used in this video? If you can guess it correctly, let's see. I almost reached 800 subbies, so I will add your name into the 800 subbies giveaway entries. How is that sound? Is that valuable enough incentive? I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Like and leave me a comment so you will be entered to the big collaboration giveaway. If you try this try or quad fold, please share your creations 
with the Be Summer Inspired hashtag. And if you have more ideas, please share it with us. I really want to see your variation and how you will use this tri or quadfold. Make sure to watch and subscribe to all the other amazing crafters in this collaboration. Happy crafting! Bye!